I will not fear what man can do on me. Somebody shout amen. amen. Are you scared that if that man leaves his hand or his sponsorship, you lose? It's a lie you won't lose. Listen, church. You're scared of what if my sponsor gives up on me? <laughs> Psalms 27 10 says, When my mother and my father forsake me, what next? The Lord will pick me up. Write it down. When my mother and my father forsake me, the Lord will pick me up. In my generation, it is my desire to see men that God will pick up. Amen. A man will pick you up, but not above himself. Am I correct? Am I correct? Nobody can pick you up above themselves. Am I correct? Nobody can pick you up above themselves. Whether they are kings or governors or rich or prosperous, they will pick you up for a measure. But when God picks you up, it is above me. May God pick you up. May God pick you up. May God pick you up. This year, may God. Up. Let me close with this. Hannah said in 1 Samuel 2 8. He said, He takes the poor from the dust and the baker from the donkey. What next, church? He takes the beggar from the donkey. The cup, cup. Oh! He takes the beggar from the donkey. He takes the poor. Men may mix you up at the donkey and they leave you. But God never meets a man at the donkey and leaves the man. Some of us, God picked us up just at the rough side of life. Everything was wrong. Everything was wrong. Some of us, God picked us up. Everything was wrong. Nobody saw anything good in us, anybody desire us. He says he picked the poor, the beggar rather, out of the dunghill and the poor out of the dust. God spoke to man. It is dust you will eat because you are cursed. But he comes and picks him out of that dust. What next? And sets him among who? Among princes. Woo! the man just washes you up. Amen. You know when you went the donkey, you smell like the dog. I'm not going to church. You have some banana, banana peels on you. You are just, you are dirty. God picks you up. Arranges you. Through faith we understand that the words were free by the word of God. He comes in the dust. Hey boy, get up. Picks you up and cleans the dust of you. So follow me. He sets you among princes. What next? To inherit thrones of glory. He sets you among what? Church, in this place, in this house, God is raising men whose class will be among princes. Yeah. It is, he has said it. I'm so glad because he has said it. He set him among princes to inherit thrones of glory. What next? For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. He has set the wall. It means that God is a pillar that can carry anything. He's a pillar. Let me say this. If men are your pillars, you fall. Things will shut them off. He says, for the pillars, First Samuel 2, 8, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. Woo, church. So when God sets you upon himself, that's enough pillar, church. No wind can shake you off. No storm can shake you off. Because the pillar of the earth, they belong to God. The pillars. You have pillars in politics, pillars in finances. He says, but the pillars of the earth, who has it? Who has it? The pillars of the earth are the Lord. He has set the world upon them. Church, only believe. Only believe. You are in for
for a change. You are in for a restoration this morning. By the word of the Lord, you are in to bring an incredible turn around to your family. You are in. You are in this year. Rest on your feet now. The pillars of the earth, they are the Lord. The Lord gave the word. The Lord, now pray this prayer with zeal and zest. Lord, give me a word. Your life needs a word. He has said, so I can boldly say. He has said, live your life, keep saying what God has said. Live your life, say what God has said. He has said, so I can boldly say. Now say now, say now, say now. He has said, so I can boldly say. Your life is at the mercy of the devil if you can't say anything God has said. What God has said. But it's called Shada. Your academics, your destiny is a risk. If you can say what God has said. What has God said concerning your church? What has God said concerning your health? What has God said concerning your destiny? Who are you, church? What has God said? What has God said concerning your family? Say what God has said. Say it now. Say it now. Shakados. Say it now. But I'm saying it. Because you said it. Now talk to yourself. This is what God has said. Talk to your life now. Talk to your life. Prados. Gasco Bravata. Frame your life now by the word of God. This can are you weak in faith? Say what God has said. Are you poor? Say what God has said. Are you broken? Say what God has said. Are you oppressed and depressed? Say what God has said. In this house you say, but say what God has said. Say what God has said. Are you in a fix right now? Say what God has said. Right now, say what God has said. Is there a need in your life? Say what God has said. Say what God has said. Amen. I'll pray with this. Listen, listen, listen. Look at me now. Now, Lamentation 3 37. What does it say? It says, Who can say a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord? Said it. Shagloria. Who can say a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord? Number one, the devil's word cannot come to pass because God has not said it. Woo! The enemy's words because God can say it. Number two, you are saying it's coming to pass because you say it because God said it. Come on, who can say he? And he comes to pass when the Lord has not said it. So because the Lord has said it, and I'm saying it's coming to pass. For the things, because the Lord has said it, and I'm saying it, it's coming to pass. Now say it, say it. Rodash, Adash. Who can say, say you can say it. You will come to pass because the Lord has said it. What you say is coming to pass because the Lord has said it. The Lord has said it. I will give 